For those that do not know, I made a video a few weeks ago on Brie Larson's comments on 40-year-old white men and her claim that their criticisms of A Wrinkle in Time were invalid or something that she doesn't care for due to their age, gender and colour. Her views on how certain groups of people can't comment on a form of art because they weren't the target audience is something I still may disagree with, but I want to acknowledge the positive results of her portrayal of Captain Marvel. Results that despite her titled movie being mediocre, has me less worried and even more excited to see Captain Marvel play what could be a prominent role in Avengers Endgame. Recently, some of the stars of Endgame were at Disneyland, and it was great to see them on stage, interacting with fans and enjoying themselves. While all the photos and videos caught my attention, there was one photo in particular that made me respond in a way I did not expect. That being Brie Larson surrounded by kids dressed as Captain Marvel. I considered something Brie had said in an autocomplete interview for Wired. There's a lot of different versions of Captain Marvel. Captain Marvel was actually in DC Comics. One point was a dude, then became a woman, was wearing a leotard, had a sash, changed her costume, also had a mask, don't have the mask anymore. Helmet, no helmet, long hair, short hair, mohawk. A lot of different illustrators made by women now. Super badass, but you know. It's really up to you to decide who is your Captain Marvel, but I know who mine is. I thoroughly enjoy how she says, it's up to you to decide who your Captain Marvel is. She says that there are many incarnations of the character being male, female, or even from DC. This surprised me considering how hard Captain Marvel's marketing pushed for its target audience being young women, and Brie Larson's comments which I referred to earlier. Now I know some may question why I didn't feel this way when seeing pictures from the Captain Marvel premiere which also had young women dressed as the titled character, and clearly inspired by Brie Larson. Well, I don't know why. My best guess is that Brie's comments on a movie not being for everyone was at the time too recent for me to look past. I still believe that anyone can criticise a movie. Heck, if what Brie said was true or if you agree with it, then I can't criticise many movies which I personally love as their target audiences were either children or women. I digress though. Seeing the smiles and joy on the children's faces from meeting what could now be their favourite superhero makes me appreciate Brie Larson a little more. But to Brie Larson I say, until you publicly acknowledge how anybody can criticise a film no matter who starred in it, made it or if it was made with a specific audience in mind, you won't have my full respect. But I can appreciate the positive results of the effect you have on others. I can never get angry or disagree with the idea of a wonderful mind of a child, being inspired, thrilled and nurtured as mine once was. That was a quick video for today, but I just wanted to share my thoughts. If you agree or disagree with me, let me know in the comment section down below. Make sure you subscribe to my channel for more videos every week. I'll catch you all next time.